good morning to all a thought for today it is not the quantity of water applied to a crop it is the quantity intelligence applied which determines the result there is more due to intelligence than water in every case alfred dekin china's southwestern regions battled fires this week following a severe heat wave putting their autumn harvest under pressure europe last month experienced heat waves and wildfires and further west the us government has for the first time ever declared a water shortage on the critical colorado river parts of india experienced a severe heat wave in march which shrunk the uh, wheat output true the south west monsoon has not disappointed with a cumulative rainfall of 71 cm till august 24th it is 9% above normal and the storage level in 143 major reservoirs till august 18 was 125% of the last decade's average water level at a regional level however rainfall has been deficient across a vast swathi from up to bengal while the gap has narrowed recently in bengal the dry spell in july august is bound to adversely impact the national paddy output there is a strong link between paddy and water shortage because it is a water guzzling crop so the message from climate change in this context is get smart about how you use water the telling statistic is that india has 17% of the world's population and 4% of its water resources irrigation takes up 90% of the country's groundwater draft and indian farmers use 2 to 4 times more water to produce a unit of grain as compared to china and brazil a terrible waste this has a serious environmental consequences too a study by nabard and icrir showed that paddy and sugarcane which use more than 60% of the irrigation water available are often cultivated in the most water scarce regions clearly india's cultivation patterns are out of sync with its resource endowments and states will have to change habits to illustrate punjab is unsuitable for paddy but it is also has yields well above the world average therefore policies that uh, incentives farmers in punjab to move to less water intensive crops need to be complemented by higher yields in eastern india and whatever the policy it cannot ignore the uh, criticality of price as a signal to incentivize farmers market response responsive prices reflect scarcity of resources for example free electricity incentives more bore wells which make water seem more abundant than it actually is allowing prices to reflect scarcity does not mean governments cannot provide cash subsidies india however can no longer afford in kind subsidies that desert prices price work better than the exhortations please uh, subscri- sub- subscribe like comment and share uh, my video to all of your friends and please uh, make your suggestions in inbox then we can improve our uh, channel further uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, video have a nice day thank you